Hello, welcome to another new creature tutorial. This new tutorial is going to teach you how to animate a growing vine using the new simple transform motor in creature. So let's get started. Now, we have a vine mesh over here, a very simple image of a vine, okay? And uh, let's rig it up. So I'm going to add in the vine image. Then I'm just gonna simply put in the bones, all right? A bunch of bones that will define the actual spine of this object. Okay, like so. And then I'm just going to run auto weighting on this mesh over here and let's test it out. It looks somewhat reasonable. All right, okay, good. Now, that's the easy part. <laughs> let's see how we're going to animate a growing vine because that's the purpose of this tutorial. Okay, so how are we going to do this? We're going to click on Region, select the Vine Mesh, click Install Motor, and click Simple Transform Motor. All right. Now, let's click on that again. Nothing happens because we haven't configured it. The first thing we're going to do is let's try changing some of these attributes and see what happens. All right. So if I set the scale Y to 2, let's see what happens. Well, look, the vine's grown by twice, which is cool. That's sort of what we want, but it's scaling in both directions. That's not what we want. So what do we, how do we do, how do we solve this problem? Well, it's actually very simple. Go into the vine again. Now click on the vine mesh, click edit Milter. All right. And just drag the origin. This is the origin point of the transformation, the origin of the relative transformation. Drag it to the bottom of the vine. All right. And click finish. Okay. And you can see that now the origin y has been set to 0 0.038. Now, the way this origin x and origin y thing works is 0 is basically the bottom of your mesh and 1 is the top. Okay, so if you don't want to go into the edit motor mode, you can just simply come in here and set it to 0. And the origin x, if it's at 0 0.5, is actually at the center of the mesh. Right? So let's try actually scaling or shrinking this guy. Let's see what happens. If we set him to 0 0.5. Let's see what happens. Oh, look, it's actually shrunk down correctly now with respect to the origin that we care about, right? So now if we set the scale y to 0, it should shrink completely. And let's set a time. Let's go to frame 90. And let's, or maybe 60. Let's do 60 frames. And let's set a value of 1 over here. OK? so. You can see it grows up. Our oh, vine grows up. That's kind of cool, right? But not very interesting. We want it to actually bend with the bones. Is that possible? Of course it's possible. So, okay, so now let's make the vines bend with the bones. So I'm going to select all the bones, hold on shift and dra draw a curve. See what happens. There you go. And let's see what. Oh, there you go, it works. <laughs> so you can draw any curve you want, of course, with the tool, holding shift and drawing your, 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 your spline that you want. And you can see what's very cool about that uh, mesh deform transform filter is in, in addition to scaling, it doesn't just do simple scaling, it does a very sophisticated form of scaling where it actually transforms your mesh in accordance to your, your bone path. So you can actually make them grow along any kind of any kind of path that you want which is very very powerful I think so you can use it of course to do growing vines you can obviously add rotate cycle and bend physics motors whatever you want with it I mean let's let's give that a go so we can add a rotate cycle motor at the base let's give it some angle oops that's the wrong angle let's give it 30 degrees and negative say 30 degrees and let's add a bend of physics at the tip and well we, we have increased the damping of course to make the system less excited and so now we have what's really cool is we actually have a growing vine that's swaying with the physics right there you go okay so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and this should give you some really neat ideas on how to use this new feature. It basically allows you to create growing stuff. You can create 
growing trees or growing plants and make them animate across the screen just like how you would imagine. They can actually grow across a chain of bones which is kind of cool using the new mesh transform milter. Now you can obviously do this with the control points milter but this milter is a lot simpler to use and it should probably find lots of use cases. Thanks for watching.